Classified on topic 1, states of matter, paper 4, question number 20. Ethanoic acid is a colorless liquid at room temperature. It has the typical acid properties and forms compounds called ethanoates. A pure sample of ethanoic acid is slowly heated from 0 degrees Celsius to 150 degrees Celsius, and its temperature is measured every minute. The results are represented on the graph below. So this graph is the heating curve of the ethanoic acid. Here from A to B, we have the solid state. B to C, the plateau where melting occurs. C to D, we have the liquid state. D to E, we have the liquid plus the gaseous state. And here we have from E to F, the gaseous state. And from D to E, we have the boiling stage. The first question, name the change that occurs in the region D2E. D2E. What is happening at DE? At DE, boiling takes place. So here, boiling. Boiling. Question two, what would be the difference in the region B to C if an impure sample had been used. What will happen to the melting point? The melting point will decrease. So if it is impure, the melting point will decrease. So what happens to the temperature? What's the difference here? It will be a lower temperature. In other words, you can say over a range of temperature. Melting will occur over a range of temperature and there would be no plateau. Question 3. Sketch on the graph how the line would continue if the acid was heated to a higher temperature. What would happen if the acid is heated to a higher temperature? We will just extend E to F by a straight line. Complete the following table that compares the separation and movement of the molecules in region C to D with those in E to F. Let's check C to D. C to D means what? C to D, you have the liquid. E to F, you have the gas. So C to D is the liquid. In other words, E to F, we have the gas. The separation or the distance between the particles. What about the separation regarding the liquid particles? They are close to each other, or you can say touching each other. What about the gases? The gases are far apart from each other. The movement of particles, here random and slow. Regarding the gases, it is fast and random. Can particles move apart to fill any volume? Can the liquid particles fill any volume? No, they cannot move apart. They can just slide past each other. On the other hand, regarding the gases, they can move apart.